Hi, my name is Lynn Blake. I'm an authorized instructor of the golfing machine. I've been learning about golf for a long time. And one of the things I've learned about golf is that we have us to control. And us includes three parts, body, arms, and hands. Crucial alignment of the arms are what we call the wedges. That is, the left arm and the right forearm are aligned in a certain way. And it's so. The right forearm is this way, along the line of the right wrist bend. The forearm is on the same plane as a club shaft. And the left arm will be coming in so to the club shaft here. And so you wind up with this condition. Now, that's the relationship of the arms to each other. But there needs to be a dynamic tension in this relationship of the two arms, what we call the power package. And that dynamic tension is put in place when the heel of the right hand actually pushes via right triceps action, pushes against the thumb, and thereby stretches out the left arm. So it does that at address. It does it in, in the startup. It does it during the backstroke. It does it at the top. It does it in the downstroke. It does it at release, all the way into impact, all the way into both arms straight. This is called extensor action. It's a non-accelerating thrust that adds tremendous structure to this relationship of the arms to each other. Now, that's a difficult feel for most people to get, at least initially. And there's been a, a device invented by my good friend John Weaver at Rover Golf called the Power Angle Pro that will help you do that. And if you put this by your TV at night, you might get channel 13 a little bit better, too. <laughs> Here, I feel the dynamic tension of the heel of my right hand against my left hand thumb. That's the number one pressure point, by the way, and it's what the right elbow is going to drive against in hitting and in swinging. It's what's going to maintain this extensor action stretch to give this structure to your power package so you won't be all flimsy. As I look down, I see arrows arrows at the top of this grip that are actually pointing at what will be my target line, my straight line, baseline of an inclined plane of motion that I swing on. And I, all I have to do is keep my, those arrows pointing at it, and I know that I will have stayed on plane. I have an arrow up here that I, when I'm, at, when I'm at this condition here, pointing at a baseline, I see that this arrow here is now parallel to my flight line. That means I'm also on plane. This little arrow indicator, also pointing at a plane, pointing at the plane line down here, tells me that I've got that's my direction of stretch. I'm continuing to stretch this this point here. As I get to the top, I really feel this pushing out. See, shoulder, the right shoulder turns so in the backstroke, but you got a lot of wobble here. This isn't shoulder turn. That's just shoulder wobble, and that needs to be stretched out. And as I stretch that out, this device lays right here on the, my upper right forearm. As this forearm pushes away, and I get in a very structured with my head between, the, between my two feet, in an in A-frame a position, if you will, I am now stretched out that way. And that's, that's a wonderful top. Now, you can go back further than that if you're flexible, and particularly if you're in motion and, can, and, are, and are younger. <laughs> but really, uh, even wonderful players that were still plenty flexible have learned to stop their strokes more in, in this right shoulder area and on plane. Again, this is your backstroke shoulder turn here. And this reaching around to the left, see, that's not a turn, that's a, that's, a, that's a wobble that's stretched out. Your shoulders aren't like an iron bar going this way, your shoulders have flexibility. They're more like a bow. So with your right shoulder against the plane, and that was the idea to get a backstroke against the plane so they could then go down the plane, with your right shoulder against the plane and your hand here supporting that plane, palm of the hand supporting the plane, you're so. This device lays right across your upper right forearm. If you are out over here, you've missed it. Or here, you've missed it. Here, you've missed it. So, but if you're coming up, there's where it is. So I can actually see with this configuration here, I actually see the flat plane. I look down, I see my baseline, and I see this invisible plane, but I see it in my mind's eye. I can actually see the plane here. And then I know I've got to stretch here. If I don't stretch, look what happens. This thing bows in. It bows in. If I, if I feel coming down, if I feel any of this, I feel a pressure here. And that's not a good pressure. 
because it means you're shortening your arc. It means you are disrupting these alignments that you set up uh, at your address position for an impact perfection. So all this stuff here is weakening this dynamic structure that you've started with at address. So here we go. Then starting down, do I pull in? No. Here, the left hip slides just a tiny bit. That tilts the spine as the axis a tiny bit. That allows the right shoulder to stay on the plane instead of coming off it in a flat shoulder turn. It's a critical move. It may be the master move right there. Just that simple little thing allows you to come through the ball this way instead of out and over. So this device helps you learn that move. Here, keep the hands here. Keep that stretch out, stretching out this way. Slot there. Now I've loaded fully. And I content now down the plane. I'm coming. This whole package dynamically in line and fully structured. And as the left arm pulls away from the right shoulder, the wrist can uncock. I see the arrows pointing, swiveling into impact. The right arm straightening to full both arms straight, the end of the follow through. And then you can swivel out and finish. So be careful. <laughs> so this is a pretty neat thing. Set up, apply your extensor action thrust. You've got your power package alignments. You've got your left arm wedge here. You've got your right arm wedge here. Stretch out. Start up. Back stroke. Top. Start down. Down stroke. Release. Impact. Follow through. And finish. Pretty neat. You might want to buy one of these.